Hello and welcome, I'm Vincent McCory and this is Africa 54. Nearly a generation has passed since more than 800,000 people were killed in the Rwandan genocide. Now, after two decades of healing, viewers Gab Josolo catches up with young Rwandans in the capital Kigali to see how they, they view the past and their future. Members of a student genocide survivors group walk together to memorialize those who were killed 20 years ago. Still in high school, most here are too young to remember the fighting, though their lives were forever changed. Many lost family members, including their parents. They come to the Nianza Memorial Site to grieve together and to offer support to each other. It's a kind of community service born out of the tragedy of the past. 20-year-old Fabian Akalakumatima leads education programs for the group. It is important to, to come because it is the best way to honor the bodies, our parents, our friends that are buried in these graves. The site memorializes some 2,000 people who were killed in April 1994 while taking shelter at a nearby school. Students say education is key to preventing a repeat of the past. Through, through helping the, 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 the young children who are growing up, I have to explain them clearly what happened because there are some people who can explain to them in the wrong way. The country still bears the scars of the genocide, but development is all around, and opportunity beckons a younger generation keen to rebuild the country. Christian Kwasinga and Marie Jose Oweyezu this year were accepted to Dartmouth College in the United States after studying with the Bridge to Rwanda program in Kigali. Both are looking forward to a better future for their country. When you, when you, you are getting an opportunity, you, you think that you have also to give an opportunity to someone else because you know you, you, we are just being a, a one nation. That's, that's the thing. I you can find that uh, what has been harmed by the genocide now, you know, that is, we are in, in time of reconciliation and peace. And I believe, you know, that is not something that should uh, affect anyone's um, thinking about what he wants to do in the future. Through memorial and public service, Rwanda's younger generation keeps one eye on the past and another on the future. Gabe Joslow, VOA News, Kigali.